Our blue marble is fragile, and we are constantly being reminded of this. In fact, one recent example came when NASA officials said that a large asteroid almost made contact with us, with them saying that they had no idea it was heading towards our planet. It's just one of the examples used by scientists that outlines how unpredictable space can be, with them saying that although we have teams and equipment across the world to help detect these things, every so often asteroids will slip through, leaving us completely unprepared. As stated on NASA's website, a near-Earth object is generally defined as an asteroid or a comet that approaches our planets less than 1.3 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. The Earth-Sun distance is around 93 million miles. Most near-Earth objects pose no peril at all. It's the small percentage of potentially hazardous asteroids that draws extra scrutiny. These objects are defined as those that approach Earth at less than half the Earth-Sun distance. Scientists and engineers are developing plans for warning systems and diversion tactics, just in case an asteroid should ever be found in an orbit that could endanger us. End quote. NASA has said that an asteroid will make itself known above our planet today. The object known as 2003 SD220 has been described as an elongated space rock that's around three times the size of the Empire State Building. NASA has said that the asteroid will make its closest approach on December 17th, where it will come within three million miles of Earth, and although that doesn't sound close, it's close enough to make this object a near-Earth object. Samuel Corville, a researcher at Arizona State University's School of Earth and Space Exploration, said the following, Imagine Earth is the size of a tennis ball, and our moon would be about the size of a dime, and it would be six feet away from the Earth, and this asteroid would then be 60 to 80 feet away from the tennis ball. It still comes closer than many other asteroids, but because we know its orbit so well, we've actually classified its risk as low to zero. End quote. NASA said the following on their website, 2003 SD220 was discovered by Lao Observatory near Earth Object Search on September 29, 2003, and was subsequently linked with 2000 AD229, which was also discovered by Lao Observatory near Earth Object on January 6, 2000. It's currently known as 2003 SD220. 2003 SD220 has an extremely slow rotation period of roughly 12 days, and light curves suggest non-principal axis rotation. Radar images at Goldstone and Arcebo in 2015 and 18 revealed a highly elongated and very slowly rotating object that is consistent with expectations from the light curves. The 2015 images provided a small number of snapshots, that did not cover much rotation so a significant fraction of the surface has not yet been seen. An estimated diameter of 0.02 km has been given. 2003 SD220 will approach within 0.036 astronomical units on December 17, 2021, when it will be one of the strongest radar targets of the year with signal-to-nose ratios per run at Goldstone strong enough for high-resolution imaging. An extensive campaign is scheduled at Goldstone starting on November 22nd, and spanning several weeks. End quote. NASA has just launched their DART spacecraft, which stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test, and has announced that it's set to crash into a targeted asteroid on purpose. However, they've also been vocal about the fact that there's certain asteroids that we won't be able to stop, saying that some of them are so big that no amount of ramming will move them off their course. US and European researchers were given several months to calculate what would happen if a large asteroid was heading towards us, but rather worryingly they came to the conclusion that not even a nuclear warhead would be able to stop a large asteroid. During the study, Astronomers use radar systems and data imaging to come to this conclusion, determining that six months would not be enough time for the space agency to come up with a plan to stop an asteroid, 
and even using things like spacecrafts and warheads wouldn't make a difference. This is worrying as in the past some asteroids had been detected mere days before flying past Earth, meaning that although we have all of this equipment, every so often asteroids do slip through the net, and as of right now there's nothing we can do to stop them. This exercise was called Space Mission Options for the Hypothetical Asteroid Impact Scenario, and involved nine NASA scientists who went over different scenarios about what would happen if an asteroid did approach us. Lindy Johnson, NASA's Planetary Defense Officer, said the following about the exercise. Each time we participate in an exercise of this nature, we learn more about who the key players are in a disaster event, and who needs to know what information. These exercises ultimately help the planetary defense community communicate with each other, and with our governments to ensure we are all coordinated should a potential impact threat be identified in the future. End quote. Dr. Paul Chodos, who is the current director of the Center for Near Earth Object Studies, said the following. Hypothetical asteroid impact exercises provide opportunities for us to think about how we would respond in the event that a sizable asteroid is found to have a significant chance of impacting our planet. Details of the scenario, such as the probability of the asteroid impact, where and when the impacts might occur, are released to participants in a series of steps over the days of the conference, to simulate how a real situation might evolve. End quote. NASA ended by saying that as each year passes, the chances of Earth being hit by a large asteroid increases, so they've said that it's in humanity's best interest to get a plan together in order to stop this. So what do you make of these announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.